Welcome back. It is Thursday, and that means it's time for the Good Life List with Mia Fleming. Now, this past Monday was World Kindness, Kindness Day, but experts say practicing kindness consistently has many benefits, including improving your mood. And that would be good. In this week's adventure, there are a couple of Good Life lessons on how being kind can be good for both yourself. Okay. <laughs> Always big laughs with a big smile and an even bigger heart. For Angeline, the owner here at Ida Red, spreading kindness is also a big part of her life. I think that's a lot of my purpose of being here. As the owner of a store filled with products and gifts that give joy and allow gift givers to show kindness to others, she wants everyone to feel kindness the moment they walk through the door. The kind of culture I'm trying to have here, and I hope that people come in the door, they just can feel the kind energy or the warmth that I want everyone to feel. Today, we took that mission to a whole new level after I dared my good friend Angeline to help me spread kindness in her store for one of my favorite holidays, no, World Kindness Day. There's nothing like being There's kind. Nothing There's like nothing like being kind. Like being kind. You got to... <laughs> As you can see, it didn't take much convincing to get her on board. After purchasing a few surprise gift cards and already giving out hugs, it was time to spread some kindness. We're about to go in. We're on a mission. I own this store. Oh, awesome. Okay. And we're just spreading kindness vibes. And I just want to give you a $25 gift card for being kind. And as we were spreading kindness, it wasn't hard to find one person after the other who could share how they'd been kind recently. On the elevator today, there was an elderly couple, and I just held the door for them. One was in a wheelchair. That's the thing about kindness. Acts of kindness, big or small, can cause a feel-good ripple effect. She felt good because we gave to her. Because you're kind. We gave we you a $25 gift card. Sorry. This is like the best day of my life. And we felt good being kind. You're kind and you have good size. Yeah, Thank do. you. Uh, Are you okay with hugs? I love hugs. Okay, okay. Oh. I'll take it. I'll take it. I think you just, it's the golden rule. You treat others the way you want to be treated. And I've never walked their walk. I don't know what they've been through, so why not make their day a little easier? It's, it's little, little things. Day. It's little yeah. things like that. Yeah. You just it's, never know what someone's going through. No. I think every person we talked to today said, you don't know what someone else is going through. A small gesture to someone can change the trajectory of their day. When somebody shows you that, you know, they thought of you and you matter to them and you notice them, like, that's actually a huge thing. An opportunity Angeline takes every chance she gets, especially as the owner here. In fact, several weeks ago, before we did this story... A customer came in, and I could just tell she was going through something. Angeline gifted that customer with the item she was looking to buy and gave her several more of the same items so the customer could experience the joy of spreading kindness to others. But I was touched that she found something in here that was making a difference in her life, because that's the whole thing I'm doing here. I think the world's a better place when yeah. people are just kinder to people. For sure. Experts say instead of seeing kindness simply as something you do, think of kindness as a quality of being you, do, you develop within yourself. Yes, yeah, studies show that being kind can actually give you feelings of satisfaction and, of course, some well-being. As always, you can catch up on the latest Good Life list by logging on to newson6.com.